Them a go let me not hungry before How them a go let me not stumble before You have to make it when you're humble for sure Why did I film this video like a week ago? Come to find out, I'm too tanned for my foundation. How? How, Sway, how? Somebody explain. And I didn't realize until I was editing it. Let's do this again. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl for Tan. We're back at it with another video. Well, you know, I'm out here. I got two story times today. Two? One? Two? I got a story time. Y'all ready for another story? Because I got a story to tell. So, this was when I was younger. When you have sickle cell, you know when you're going to emerge, it's serious. It's critical. So, this was before I was out of high school. Yeah, before I was out of high school, I think. Some of the details are kind of fuzzy, but the general idea is the general idea. Like, I'm not telling no lies. If my mom was sitting right here beside me right now, she would agree. She would tell you the story for herself because she was dying when this happened. So, I got so sick one day. So, so, you know the drill. You get sick, you go to the emergency room. So, I went to the emergency. I went to sick kids at that time. It was sick kids. And, um... I remember because I got in really quickly. So when you, they have a routine. My hair's a mess, but the tie head was cute and the wig is working. So that's what we're gonna do today. But they have this routine, this this procedure. So when you go to sick kids and you go to the desk to get registered, all you have to say is all my mom had to say was my daughter has sickle cell and she's in a crisis. They would instantly take me into a room get me like IV'd up while she's answering questions at the same time so they're multitasking so you're not sitting there with a crisis for like 20 hours dying waiting for attention you know what I mean so this particular day this was a night time actually it was a night so me my mom and my sister I believe my sister was there I think she was there because she was laughing too yeah I think she was there we went to sick kids I'm not focused on anything that's going on, so I don't really remember what, what all happened because I was in pain. All I know is they got me in and they're ready. So, this point, I'm in the room. They always have like residents. So, these resident doctors are walking the ward, and at all hours of night, they have different residents. Like, so there's always a doctor on call, on staff, sitting around waiting for like patients and stuff. This particular I believe it was night I think it was an evening like an evening night situation this particular day there was medical students so usually what happens is when they're in university and they're about to graduate they're about to graduate they send them they send them um, in a hospital to do like a ro do rotations like your training this is like your last push before you like here's graduation this is your volunteer hours in the hospital so you get that work you know that's good or whatever I've had a bunch of like medical students examine me before and it's cool don't really occur doesn't really offend me this particular day, day, evening, night, I don't remember what time it was, I was in pain. Don't judge me. There was a medical student. His skin color, his background, I don't think it's really important. But he's one of those people where their parents would force them to become a doctor. That's why I think he was in this profession. It seemed as though his parents forced him to become a doctor. So he comes in with the resident and he's filling out charts and doing everything that the doctor would do and whatever and whatever. Perfectly normal. This is what they're supposed to do. And I don't remember, I don't think I had an IV in at this point. I feel like they were trying to do everything while he was doing questions and um, background health issues and all that stuff, right? This is when shit hit the fan excuse me jesus i'm sorry for cussing but it was just that 
serious. This is when Ish got serious, right? They stuck, so if you ever got an IV, you know it's like a little tube over a needle, and they like insert it, pull the needle out, they'll draw blood from the same, um, from the same portion, and then they'll just flush it and put an IV on it, on top of it. If you've ever had an IV, you know what I'm talking about. So they started to poke me. It's normal. I'm like, yo, just get drugs in me as fast as you possibly can. At this point, I'm pretty much like. All right, it's coming, medicine's coming. I'm kind of calmed down. So like I walked in out of here, like my back is killing me, like I can't walk, like help me. And now I'm about like here, cause I know the drugs are coming. So it's like, you get to that point where like, okay, relief is coming, I'm almost ready. So I'm, I'm, I'm rational now. This is how I know what happened. This man's here asking my mom questions, normal. How long has she been sick? How many hours has this crisis gone on? Is she a sick order that blah, 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 blah. Not my issue. I just want drugs. So she is answering all his questions. And as they're taking the blood, so they got the, they got the needle in. They got the point where um, the blood is coming now. And as soon as, soon as she's answering his questions, he sort of glances over to my arm. And all the nurses are like, okay, cool, if it's time, we got what we needed. Like, you can stop pumping your fist. So whenever you're about to take blood, they ask you to, like, close your fist really, really tight. And sometimes they'll ask you to, like, pulsate it so that the blood can flow. So they're like, okay, you can relax now, and it's coming. And all of a sudden, you see this man walk out. Why did he walk out? Why did he walk out? Do you know why he walked So we're trying to wonder why he walked out like that. Like, that's kind of disrespectful. You, you're trying to figure out what I'm going with me. And you're walking out, fam. That's how you feel. All of a sudden, we see, like, there was, like, three nurses in the room with me, I think. There was a couple nurses. There was more than, there was more than two. I remember that much. All of a sudden, we just see them walk out, except for the one that's still dealing with my IV or whatever. We see them kind of rush out, like something wrong. Like, nigga, they didn't announce cold blue on the hospital, like, PA system. So, we rushing to. So, my mom, she steps out into the hallway now. And I just see her come back in laughing. So, my mom, what happened? Why are you dying? Like, this is after the lady. Done, did the IV, taped me up, got the drugs flowing, got the IV flowing, everything is moving now. She's like, I'll be right back. When my mom went outside, you know what she saw? This big grown man that's supposed to be becoming a doctor in the next couple months. Mind you, he's about to graduate. They don't send you to a hospital until you're about to graduate. Like, you're this close to graduation, fam. This close. And you... He's sitting in a chair and all the nurses have to attend him because he couldn't handle the sight of my blood. How? How? How fam? How? Can somebody explain? Can y'all tell me? How are you going to be a doctor? How are you going to be a doctor and you can't handle the sight of blood? What kind of foolishness? What kind of foolishness? What, what kind of foolery? What kind of tomfoolery? I don't understand. You're supposed to be a doctor. Like you full out about to graduate. And you can't handle the side of some blood. Some blood, my nigga. Blood fat. I don't understand. I didn't get it. It didn't make no sense to me. I didn't get it. I don't understand. No, 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 no. Mama came back in the room dying. My sister was like, deading with laughing. I'm just sitting there like how... We're all laughing at this grown man, by the way. Laughing at him. How? How you reach this far in medical school and can't manage this out of blood? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't get it. 
Well, anyway, guys, that was my quick story time about why this nigga passed out. He passed out at the sight of my blood. After that, we didn't see him again for the rest of the night. Like, he retired. He's like, I'm not going back in there. Nope, I can't face them. And especially some Jamaican people. Nah, nigga, we would laugh you to scorn. You're lucky you didn't come back in the room because my mom would have just been like, nigga, really? My mom would have really confronted you as a big grown man yourself. She as a Jamaican will confront you. You lucky you didn't come back. Like, we didn't see him after that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He couldn't show his face. He could not show his face. But that was my quick story time about a doctor, or almost a doctor, passing out at the side of my blood. How? Houseway, how? If y'all know how, leave it in the comments. Talk to me. I'm going to be responding. I always respond back to every single comment I get. As long as I see it, I respond. If I don't see it, I will find it, and I will still respond. Because sometimes YouTube spams you guys' comments and their actual comments. So That's just how it is sometimes. But I always find them, I always see them, and I always respond. So let's have a conversation. What would you do in that situation? How would y'all react? Would you confront him? Like, let me know. Especially as a big girl. You're a patient. This nigga's supposed to be taking care of you. How would you react? Because that don't make no sense. Let me know it's good. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.